In order to make your animation, you're gonna have to go up to this stick person. So there's your ground layer. You go to the stick person layer, and you need to make what's called a keyframe. It's basically another picture, like a blank paper on which to draw. Now, in order to make this blank keyframe, which will allow us to draw a new picture, we are gonna have to go to where it says insert, timeline, and blank keyframe. This way we'll insert a blank keyframe, or put in a blank keyframe. Now, I want you to look over here. This is called onion skin, and if you click on it, you'll see that we can see the picture before it. Now, I'm gonna grab the brush tool, and I'm going to draw, I can make my uh, brush size bigger or smaller with those bracket keys next to P, and I'm gonna draw a stick figure that's slightly different. As you can see, uh, I'm kind of tracing, but I'm just making small little differences. And as you can see, as I go back and forth here, using the comma and period key, that uh, it looks like it's moving a little bit. So let's go to insert timeline, make another blank keyframe, and we'll draw another one in here. Again, slightly different, continuing the motion that we did last time. Let's redraw that backbone. There we go. And again, just slightly different, so the character is moving the way we want it to move. We have to get him across this screen. Now, a shortcut is hitting function F7. If you do that, it will create a new blank keyframe. So instead of having to go to the menu every time, going to insert a blank keyframe, you can actually just hit function F7. It's a great little shortcut. You have to hold down that FN function key, but it will make uh, animating faster. So let's just do this again here, function F7, another blank keyframe, and I will continue to draw the character in a slightly different place. Uh, again, function F7, we keep drawing. So I'm making him bend down so that he can then jump up. It's an idea that you want to actually animate the pre-motion before the motion. Now this frame, I actually want to hold it. I don't want to, I want it to last a little longer. So I'm gonna go to insert timeline and frame. Another way of doing that is function F5. You'll notice that it creates a new frame that looks kind of like a square. Uh, and I'm going to do it again. And what it does, again, you can do that function F5, is it makes it so that the frame uh, lasts longer for more than just one picture. It's like holding a picture. Now I'm going to draw another one, and I'm actually going to have him leap. So the idea is that when he bends down, he pauses for a moment and then leaps up it will make it just a little bit more realistic. If you click off the onion skin, you can see the movement here. Or if I just, uh, let me drag it with my mouse right across the top, and you kind of have that motion. Looks like he's gonna jump. Ladies and gentlemen, good luck, and happy animating.